Hey guys, so today I have an empties video for you guys and I haven't filmed one of these in a while because I kept forgetting to collect my garbage. This is the stuff that I just started to collect ever since I did remember. I actually made myself a little note on the wall saying that if anything was emptied or used up that I should just, you know, put them in a box. So here it is, just a small amount of items that I wanted to share with you guys. Alright, so I guess I'm just going to start pulling things out. The first thing that I see in here is this... That was weird. Are you okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna start pulling things out. And the first thing that I see in here is something that I got from Korea. And um, this is the Lemon Yellow Skin Water 85% Vitamin Water. So what you do with this is after you clean your face and before you moisturize, you can just like spray it all over your face and it's supposed to give you a whole beautiful layer of vitamins that's really good for your skin. It's supposed to hydrate it, you know, help with dark circles, help with little dark spots on your face, help with acne, everything beautiful like that. So I absolutely love this stuff. I went to Korea earlier last year. So this little can lasted me about a whole year, but I didn't use this every single day. I only used it when I wanted to pamper myself. I absolutely love this. It smells like really nice fruity lemon, but not the kind of lemon that you would clean your toilet with. You know that like bathroom cleaning lemon smell? It doesn't smell like that. It smells like a really nice perfumey kind of lemon. So I absolutely love this. I would purchase another can of that vitamin water, but obviously I'm not going to fly all the way to Korea just to buy, you know, a vitamin toner for my face. I'm going to have to find out where I can buy that online and have it shipped to my home instead. But the second thing that I have in here is the Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover by Neutrogena. This has been the only regular remover that I've been using since I started using makeup. I absolutely love this stuff. It is wonderful. Super gentle, doesn't sting the eyes. Sometimes makeup remover does run into your eyeballs. But this stuff is super gentle and never hurts my eyes. It's great. I can't say enough good things about it. I always repurchase this. Actually, this time I repurchased the Target generic brand for this. It's the Up and Up brand. It costs a dollar less, but I mean, I'm hoping that it works the same because I absolutely love this. Speaking of the Up and Up brand, I have the Up and Up Invigorating Facial Cleanser, which is comparable to this one. It's the Clean and Clear Morning Burst detoxifying facial cleanser. They both pretty much do the same thing. One is just a Target brand, the other one is obviously just a little bit more expensive. I love these two. This one I've been using a lot more because I've, you know, I've been buying the Clean and Clear brand since I can remember. But lately I just started to, you know, want to save money and I think that generic brands just work just as well. So I decided to get this one. They're both pretty lovely. So a plus, I really like these. I think I'm going to pretty much use them for the rest of my life because they do great on pimples. The next thing that I have in here is this Quadly, or Quadly, I can't pronounce it, don't yell at me, but it's the Vino Source Moisturizing Cream Mask for your face and your eyes. I've been really dry last winter and this winter. Um, it's just these two recent years, so this one has been really saving me. My face looks like the desert floor when it gets dry. It is absolutely terrible. Um, it's really dry around my nose and around my mouth which makes it really hard to put on lipstick or you know foundation or anything like that. So this has been really saving me. I really like this. I just wish that it does not smell the way it does because it kind of smells like an old lady deodorant, if that makes any sense. Like it smells good, but it also reminds me of something like a vintage deodorant would smell like. I don't know. I just, I'm not digging the smell, but it works really well if you have really dry skin. Speaking of dry skin, I have the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. Um, this is the one that you're supposed to use when your skin is still wet, hence the name Wet Skin Moisturizer. But use this after your shower when you're still a little bit damp but not too dry. Um, it's supposed to really, really help you like soak in all that moisture that it's giving you. I like this, but sometimes if you use a little bit too much, which I tend to do, um, you do get really sticky, which is annoying because then you're sticking to your underwear, you're sticking to everything else. So it's really good, but it's really easy to use a little bit too much because you're just like squeezing. Um, there has to be a way around there. I try to remind myself to squeeze just a little dime size, but I'm one of those people that probably uses a little bit too much toothpaste, a little bit too much like body wash. I'm one of those people, but it's really good if you can control it. Otherwise, you will be a big sticky mess. The next thing that I have in here is this Moroccan Organ Oil, a weightless healing dry oil. I absolutely love the way this smells. This reminds me of the summer, mostly because I just was using this a lot in the summer. 
but especially if you like heat uh, damage your hair, if you chemically damage your hair, and if you spend a lot of time in the ocean, this one would really make your hair look nice and smooth. I pretty much need to buy another one of these, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I'm probably gonna do it really quickly, but uh, this one smells absolutely fantastic. I would recommend anyone to try this out. I have a bottle of the Dove's Advanced Care deodorant, and I absolutely love this stuff. Already have another bottle. Probably gonna run out of it pretty soon, but I absolutely love this. And this has been the only, the only deodorant that I've ever finished up in my lifetime. It does not come out anymore and you will pretty much shave your armpit off if you try to use this because it's at the end of the bottle. But this is absolutely amazing. It makes your armpit nice and white and light. It doesn't give it that dark little armpit shading area. I absolutely love this stuff. Everyone should go try it out because I know in magazines when models have like really nice and smooth armpits, that's exactly what I want. And this is getting me to that nice and white and smooth armpit. So absolutely love this. For eyelash enhancers, I have two products. One is from Smart Lash, the Eyelash Enhancer Limited Edition. It's not limited edition, by the way. Um, the other one is the Talika Paris Expert Eyelash Enhancer. I like the Smart Lash a lot better, only because the wand comes out like a brush. So it's really easy to brush it on your eyelashes. But for an Asian, I do have pretty long lashes, thanks to these products. I've been using these for a while now, which is why my lashes grow out to be really long. But I absolutely love them. I already have another one. Probably never gonna stop using them because I feel like as soon as I stop using these, my lashes will just fall out and grow back like really short and straight. But really like these. Moving on to makeup products, I finished up one of these NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powders. I have this one in the white color. But this one does exactly what it says. It's supposed to keep shine away, which it does. And it's also supposed to make your makeup last a lot longer, which it also does. So I really like this. I also have the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. Um, I'm in shade medium. It's supposed to be a 4-in-1 BB cream. I like this. It's not the best. I feel like I've used something better, but I just repurchased this because I was, you know, I needed something in a quick moment, so I just decided to get this one. It's nothing too special. It's not bad either. You can try it if you want to, but I feel like there's definitely something that works a lot better than this one. Two Maybelline products. One is the Instant Age Rewind. Um, eraser for dark circles and the other one is the Falsies Volume Express Mascara. This one I absolutely love but then again I like anything mascara wise that comes from Maybelline so I definitely would repurchase this. I'm already using another tube of this but anything mascara wise that's from Maybelline I'm absolutely a fan of. This one I absolutely love as well. I love the sponge little applicator and the little twist up method. It's so quick and easy and it's just perfect to get just the right amount under your eyes, blend it out and you're good to go. I used up one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel. I'm in the color Espresso. And I, I don't know why I have it in this packaging, but it's in there. This tube is absolutely empty and I love this. This gives me great color. It's a good match for my hair color and it just makes my eyebrow hair stay in place. Like even when I'm wearing like hoodies and hats, sometimes they'll like touch my eyebrows. But even when I take them off, they're still in place. So I absolutely love this. This has been like my dirt tube already. I don't know what I would do without this. Seriously, it would be a sad day if this ever gets discontinued. I have one of these bubble masks. Um, Bunny from um, Graveyard Girl. Everyone knows her, but she also did a review on one of the newer bubble masks. But I've had this. This one is from Zeno, and I think this is one of the first bubble masks I've ever seen on the market. I've had this for about like four years now, and yeah, I just started finishing this stuff, which is kind of bad because it's been here for four years. But it's another product that's made from Korea, and again, it's like bubbly. It makes your whole face kind of tingle and tickle. But it's really nice because it's supposed to clean out your pores. The bubble is supposed to draw out all the dirt inside. So I really like this one. I would probably repurchase this, but again, I can't find a store that carries Korean brand products because obviously I'm not going to fly to Korea just to buy this. But I really do like this. I have one of these Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Sprays. This is like a little baby trial size of it. I got this for free when I was buying the Urban Decay like lipsticks. but. If you know me, I love setting sprays and this is pretty much the only setting spray that I ever use. So this mini bottle, A+, I definitely would repurchase this and I already have a big one. But this is probably going to be something that I would buy over and over and over again. And that's it of my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!